Ladies and gentlemen, dock workers, morticians, and hair care products, welcome to another Timo Redbeard video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a mortuary and how to build shipping cranes to add a bit of spice to your builds and your bases. If you do like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to caress that notification bell. And chuck in the comments whether you think I deserve a like or not. Hey, feedback's always great. I do stream on Twitch from Monday to Friday starting at 3 p.m. GMT. I'd love to catch you there. Link's in the description below. But otherwise, let's jump straight into this. So to build the mausoleum, what you're going to want to do is flatten out a little bit of an area. Uh, I've chosen inside of a forest right here as it's just going to be a standalone little one. But obviously it might be inside your graveyard or uh, maybe slightly just out of your settlement as an altar or a place to uh, revere your ancestors or the like. Then all you're going to do is you're going to place down a little one meter wood beam and then stone slabs like so. And you're going to want to go for a three by four shape like so. Get rid of that one wood, one meter wood beam now. And now you're going to want to place pillars in all four corners and two high like so. And now we're going to go with recessed walls to create a bit more shape and a bit more character. So we're going to snap doors onto the pillars like so. And then we're going to use those doors to snap one by two stone walls like so. As you can see, they're recessed in. And we want to use one by one blocks for here. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those middle two. And that's going to be our doorway. And then over here, again, snap like so. And like so. And then once we've got that, we're just going to alternate our stone. By using one by one stone bricks to offset. And we're going to keep building this up like so and then a bit higher and then to top off the doorway we're just going to close it in with two bricks like so now for the roof the way that I build my mausoleums is by using stairs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the stairs to the walls here and then out over the top like so. So that they're snapped to the edge of the pillar. But also to the inside edge of the wall like so. So that they overhang slightly off the top. And then we're going to run those the whole way along like so and we're going to do the same on the other side there we go so now we're going to free place the blocks so we're going to put those two blocks there and we're going to want to hold shift to free place the blocks now and we're going to want to line it up like so and the same on the other side we we'll just line this up and free place boom same for the back side. Line it up, free place. Line it up and free place. And then once we've got that, we're going to take our staircases and we're just going to snap on each the front and the back like so. And this is where the magic happens. We snap in and we create this gorgeous little lip at the top. And then once we've got the ends done, we can snap the middles in and they will be held up by each other like so and you get a gorgeous stone roof to your mausoleum that is quite attractive and clean now i like to add a little bit of embellishment with some dark wood sometimes you need to add a little bit to the bottom depending on how how, how high your ground is um but again we're just trying to create details we don't want it to obviously be too crazy but at the same time, we want to add enough so that it's attractive and interesting. And so I'm just going to add a, a little border on the underside here as well. A bit here. And a bit there. 
like so. And now you've got the outside of your mausoleum. And what I like to do on the inside is I like to possibly put some signs up on the back wall here. Uh, you know, a, a here lies XXX who did blah, blah, blah. And then we are going to build. We're going to place a stone block right there and a stone block right there. And then we're just going to finish off by decorating this up with some fine wood or some, some dark wood even. Once you've built what you want to build, you can then just grab an iron gate and free place it so that it is receded in and you have yourself a mausoleum with some skeletal remains sticking out the side. So in order to build the man-powered crane, the first thing that you're going to want to do is flatten out a little area right here. And then you're going to want to take a stone pillar and place it facing the direction you want the crane to face in my situation right there. And then you're going to take a door. You're going to snap it like so. Remove the door. Put another door in. Snap it like so. Remove the door. Put another door in. Snap it like so. Remove the door. And then because we're going to need lots of structural support for this crane, we're going to line the insides with iron like so. And then we're going to line the outsides with core wood just for the aesthetic style that it provides. And we have our base. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place a another piece of iron right in the middle, free placed, straight up like so. And again, and again, and again. Now we're going to want to take the core wood again, and we're going to want to place it on top of these like so. And then we're going to place a little one meter wooden beam on the iron if it wants to snap, which it doesn't want to. Can sometimes be a problem with the core wood, in which case you can just remove some of the core wood and place it again. You, I'm sure, all know exactly what snapping in Valheim can be like sometimes. But essentially, you start with this. And now you're going to take the two meter long wooden beams and you're going to rotate once and snap, rotate once and snap, rotate once and snap the whole way around to form a circle. And this is going to be the bit that looks like it rotates on the crane. And the last bit never really wants to go in, but snapping it under sorts it out just wonderfully. So now our crane is going to face out that way. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to snap one more our iron on top, making sure it's correctly rotated. And then we are going to want to grab a wooden X like so. And these can be a bit of a pain to snap, but there we go. That one snapped. And there we go. That one snapped. Fantastic. And then we're going to bring 26 degree beams down like so. We're going to bring a regular beam, making sure it's rotated correctly. Like so. And then core wood, two meters like so and like so and that's going to function as the handles that will look like we push the crane around to rotate it with now of course we get this weird little gap here and i like to cap these off with just a little one sticking out like that to balance it off and prevent those weird gaps that don't look like they're connecting very well now we're going to take a steeper beam this is a 45 degree beam and we're going to place it there like so and then we're going to take a 26 and snap it like so and bring in our last 26 degree x and place it like so right there 
Now this beam, as you can see, it runs straight the way from the handle the whole way up. This is going to be our core one that we run up like so. And we're going to run that up two more times. And then we're going to match it with our 26s like so. Now, at this point, we're going to want to make sure that this is matching the height and it's not at the moment. So we're going to place a one meter beam and then snap iron inside it just so that it is the correct height to match the rest of the build. And then we're going to run the iron whole way along like so. And then, of course, we're going to want to tidy up the iron by hiding it just like this. And now we again have this weird, slightly uncomfortable looking gap, which we can cap off with a longer piece and a folding back 26 degree, like so. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring our piece down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap this off again, like so. And then we're going to bring our iron down two beams and we will cap those off and then we're going to take 45 degree beams and we're going to diagonally making sure they snap i didn't snap that one correctly out like that and now this all should be blue at this point if this isn't blue then you need to make sure that the iron is being supported correctly but if it is blue congratulations you're right on track now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take four beams like so and place them down like that and again to get rid of these horrible little angles we're just going to poke out these little one meters like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring a square out from these beams like so And we can put a cross section in if you want, or you can just do half a cross section, a full cross section, however you fancy aesthetically, and then fill that in with wooden floors. And then what I like to do is I like to add things like coal piles or stone. That one is snapping through like so. Or even core wood or fine wood can look quite nice stacked up on the crane like that. And then last but not least, as you can see, we have a little cage here just to add a bit more 3D depth onto this section of the crane. So we're going to bring out two little beams like so. We're going to run them down here and here. And then we're going to bring our 45 degree beams and we're just going to wrap them around a little bit so that they snap into the beam. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. There we go. Like so. And that was slightly off angle. There we go. And like so. And the same on this side. Just get it to snap. Sometimes it's easier to get rid of that first. Get these both snapped in. And then place this back down. Like so. And there you have a wonderful little shipping yard crane that you can use to decorate your harbour, your dock, or your builds in general. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday starting at 3 p.m. GMT. I would love to see you there. Link is in the description below. If you have any feedback, please let me know. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.